everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you just a real easy kind of a poppy inspired design doesn't necessarily have to be a poppy but if that's what the inspiration is coming from and I'm going to be painting it on this green glass bottle I have gone ahead and I've cleaned the bottle off with soap and water and rubbing alcohol and it's ready to go the brushes I'm using today are two a magic flat brushes a number six and a number 12 and a magic round brush which is a number four and I might use this brush I'm not sure because I didn't use it in my samples but it's a uh, Bostonia fine liner and then a dotting stylus the paint I'm using today are all folk art paints it's wicker white Cardinal Red, Licorice, and School Bus Yellow. These paints, again, are all folk art paints, combination between multi-surface and enamels. So, I'm going to begin by Stroking my brush into the red and a little bit into the yellow. Now you don't really have to use yellow. I was kind of hoping just to use uh, the red, but a lot of times it it's better when you put another color with it. So we'll see. I'm just trying to do just a little bit of yellow. So I'm tipping it in there and then just getting a little bit of yellow on my brush. You can see that. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start at the top and put in a couple just buds. Now I do need to, to say that when you're painting like this, you wanna make sure your paint goes on as opaque as possible, just for the fact that that indicates that it's more durable because it's on thicker and will help with the your design actually staying nice for quite a while. Now when you're doing this kind of painting on a bottle, if you're just using it as a decorative piece, it's not as imperative to have it, you know, to be as concerned, I guess is what I should say, with the durability because you're not handling it like you would be handling a wine glass but you still want it to be where it has good coverage you know so your design stays nice now then I'm going to do another one down here and these are just the I guess you would say the inside of the flower and I apologize I'm in my work area where I my furnaces so it just finally kicked off all right so what I'm going to do is create these and then I'm going to go back over them again because I do want the coating of paint to be pretty thick now this one is going to be just a but what I would consider like the back of the flower you're not going to see the open you're not going to see it open. This is the back side of the flower. All right, so I'm just kind of going over it. And I'm going to come down like this. All right. So let me go ahead. I'm going to hit this with a heat gun, and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and went over them with another coat of paint one after I hit it with the heat gun. My Dear Fritz Stippler is the next thing I'm going to use. I don't even know if I mentioned that. It's a number eight uh, in my little list. Now, I do put my what I use in my videos down below in affiliate links. So if you want to purchase through them, you're welcome to do so. But with this, I'm just slowly putting it into the black and then pouncing the center in. I'm just going to have two with centers because, once again, this other one over here is going to be as if it's just the back of the flower. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is take my 
uh, number six flat brush and I'm going to put it into the black. On this, I'm going to see how well it shows up because, well, you know what? Let me go ahead and do some of this because I'm thinking I should have probably done some, another part first. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start sticking in some of the, the little stems because I want to come over this and I think I really probably should go ahead and, well, I'm sorry. Let me just keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and, and hit with heat gun. I'm sorry I'm confusing here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, I was a little confused because I want to put my stems in, but then I think, you know, I really need to go ahead and finish these, these flowers out. And so basically, you can come up here if you want, and then, I'm not getting a good good base here. I don't have to go over this again probably, but anyhow you just come like this and just bring it around. And since it is still a little wet, it did pick up some of the block. That's what I was trying to avoid, but it's not a big deal. I mean you don't have to really be too concerned about it. I am then, since I just did this, going to go ahead and continue on with my block, which is what I was starting to do, and then I thought, you know what, I probably should wait. Now, if this isn't showing up well enough for you, you can always put a little bit of white in it. I think, though, from what I'm seeing, it's probably doing okay. So I might not do that, but I'm going to go ahead and put in some other, just some other little branches, and they're all coming down to the bottom here. But I'm just going to keep doing it because I want it to be kind of full. And these are just, just real, I guess, sporadic. They don't have to be any certain direction or thickness. Just however, however you want to place them. And I come out here. Now, for the purpose of the video, I'm just doing this design on the front of the bottle. When I sell them, I do create them all the way around, unless it's a Jägermeister bottle, and that one I have a tendency just to do on the front because it's more of a more of a uh, flat surface, and I think you would have a tendency just to sit it on a shelf without really being too concerned about rotating it or the fact that the that the back is not painted. All right, so I'm going to do some of these, and you'll see what I do with them here in a minute. For some reason, now I have, I tried to do this on my paper with my round brush, but I seem to have more control over my painting when I do it with the round, a flat brush. I don't know if that's because I use it the most. And I think as a painter, you're going to find that you will have your favorite brushes. You'll definitely have some that you have better control over. I just think that's probably a common, common thing. I just want a few more to come out here a little bit. And some of these are just mainly fillers. You can actually, I'm trying to think here what else I want to add, if anything. And let's go to the round brush. On this one, I'm going to just dip it into my black. It's just fully, fully painted with black. And then I'm going to come out here and then just start doing some basic touch. And just kind of sporadically pull these towards, towards the branch. Now I can just do it on part of it or the whole thing. And I just want to make sure, too, when I'm doing this, that it's good coverage. Once again, that's so important. Up here, I think I'm going to do just a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger one. And you can do it where you change them up a little bit so they're not all the same. These are a little bit thicker and kind of spaced 
more together. Pressure definitely makes a difference when you're painting as to the outcome of the design or the leaf that you're trying to make. Yeah, I'm not happy with that one. Let's see what I'm doing here. Maybe tap in a little one there. So you can even put them out from it. You don't have to have them necessarily all attached to the branch. It's not a requirement. Definitely not. So you can come through here and just see where maybe you need to fill in some little leaves. Even if they're not specifically like on a branch, you know, that I designated for that purpose. And I'll come over here. Let me turn this around. I always end up sticking my brush, or not my brush, but rolling my bottle around and tipping it into the paint on the opposite side and ruining the design. Then I have to fix it up. And if you wanted to add a little bit of white into this, you sure can. Maybe even add a few of these out from. You can do that. It's just pretty open, you know. I'm just, you have to think with my designs, they're basically to give you a starting point and then you go from there and add, add your own design to it. You know, add your own little twist, I should say. Okay, so on these, I'm going to come down like that. You can actually come up in the middle if you want. I'm going to bring a little, another little, I want to say, leaf from that direction. You can come in there. You know, you can bring it up even further if you like for your buds to have the uh, more of be them how I'm saying here if you like to have your buds be a little bit more closed you can actually bring them clear up there if you want kind of like I would do like for example like I would do with a so like a rosebud that kind of thing or you can leave them open like this so since I did that I guess I'm going to come here and do that maybe even put a little just a little point out like that. You can bring it up more th through the center or leave it down. All right. I'm not going to do too much here because I think my battery is getting low. I'm not using my typical, typical, um, camera that I normally would use, so I apologize, but I need to get this done so I can get it out to you. But again, just a, just a very simple design. My station or my channel is meant to be for those who want to learn how to paint. Maybe you're looking for a hobby, looking for something to relax with and do, and I'm hoping that that helps you. And then also, if you're a more experienced painter, maybe it gives you just some ideas of things you can create or work from. That's it. All right, so I'm going to try to use my little liner brush since I did actually bring it. But you can do just some little swirls. You'll have to maybe work with these a little bit. But just bring some down. Just very easy, very light. They don't even have to be perfect. Or you could even do it where you're just doing just little squigglies with the black. Maybe even throw in a little bit of white. It would be grayish. And you can come in here. They're just very light. Like I mentioned, and that's what they're supposed to be. They're not supposed to be anything more than that it just gives a little bit of just some interest into the design 
and there you have it. All right, well, I appreciate you stopping by. Again, very easy design. Hope you like it. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And until the next time, you stay safe and healthy and have a good one.